A person's name is a major part of his or her identity. It's typically the first thing people learn about us and the last thing we leave behind. I'll see you at the crossroads, Grandma. Our names can make us feel smart, confident, unique, or even embarrassed, misunderstood, or lost in the crowd. Where is Balake at? There's no Balake here today. Yes, sir. My name is Blake. Choosing a baby name is one of the biggest decisions for a new mom. Do you go classic, trendy, totally unique? And with so many choices, how do you know you've picked the right one? Baby name consultant and founder of My Name for Life, Sherry Suzanne, tells us, a name is a gift so meaningful, so powerful, so personal, that only you can select it for your child. Choosing a baby name is a big deal, but the good news is you can't go wrong. But in case you need a little inspo, Suzanne gave us the lowdown on the most unique baby names for 2017. Cairo it may already be the name of one of Egypt's most famous cities, but Suzanne says the name Cairo will be popular for boys in 2017, especially because this name belongs to the Kansas City Chiefs Brazilian-born place kicker Cairo Santos. Good. He lines it up and Santos has a 53-yard field goal! Suzanne says, Sports figures impart strength and coolness to names. Parents also like the nickname Kai. Kai is now a well-used name on its own. Elora Inspired by Elora Ontario, Suzanne says this name is quickly gaining momentum as a more unique alternative to the popular nickname Ellie. Suzanne told us, Elora quietly existed as either a variant form of names like Eleonora or Laura. It is now among the top 1,000 names, but at number 963 in the US, it still means that just 280 families selected this name. Pretty and unique. A win-win. Fun fact, Elora was also the name of the baby princess in the 1980s sci-fi movie Willow. Kensington A district within West London's royal borough, Kensington is a name fit for a princess. Suzanne dishes, This surname and place name gives parents an alternative way to achieve the nickname Kenzie, outside of the well-used Mackenzie. Kensington is also the name of Britain's richest street, where an average mansion would cost you a steep $24.3 million. Talk about posh. I have no idea, dude. Promise According to O oh Baby Names, Promise is what you'd call a modern-day virtue name coming from the Old French promise, which translates to a guarantee or assurance. The site tells us, as a female given name, promise is a pretty modern coinage. But it is also fairly uncommon. Bestowed upon just 200 baby girls in 2013, this one is definitely an up-and-comer. Suzanne says, This virtue name feels more contemporary than hope or charity. While it is not taken off yet, it is lingering just outside the top 1,000 along with a similar name, Treasure. Tinsley According to Baby Name Science, Tinsley, meaning Tinny's Meadow, first appeared on the charts in 1994 at number 4,116. And thanks to a growing interest in gender-neutral names, Suzanne says Tinsley may soon have its moment in the spotlight. She says unisex names that started life as surnames continue to be a trend for girls, especially ones with the L-E-Y ending. Tinsley is reminiscent of Riley, Finley, and Ainsley, names that are already being used regularly. It's been hovering outside the top 1,000 US names, but may make a leap if a socialite with the name joins a Real Housewives cast as it's rumored. So if you start to see more Tinsleys over the next few years, don't be surprised. I just love surprises. I'm so freaking effing excited. Titan. Titan, meaning defender, is popular in Greek mythology as the name given to a group of powerful, immortal giants. If you're looking for a name that exudes strength, this one is definitely a contender. Suzanne tells us, Titan is a fast-moving name that's one of several in the top 1,000 borrowed from heroes of mythology. Achilles, Atlas, Apollo are others. Of course, not every Greco-Roman name is guaranteed to be popular. For example... My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Meanwhile, celebrities seem to be feeling the name Titan as well. According to Name Barry, Titan Fines Tiffin is the nephew of actor Ray Fines, while Titan Jewel is the name Beyonce's bestie Kelly Rowland and hubby Tim Witherspoon chose for their son. Wilder Wilder has been familiar as a surname carried by celebrities like American boxer Deontay Wilder and writer-producer Billy Wilder, but Suzanne says it took a celebrity connection for many parents to consider it as a first name. She's talking about Wilder Hudson, the son of Scream Queens actor Oliver Hudson, who is Kate Hudson's brother. This makes Wilder's grandmother Hollywood legend Goldie Hawn. This could be a whole show. <laughs> Political direction. According to research published on Today.com, we're in for a lot more baby names with unconventional spellings and non-traditional origins. This is a trend that seemed to dominate in red states versus blue states if you're still thinking in presidential election terms. Top five names for girls in states that vote red are the individualistic Blakely, Briley, Kennedy, Kylie, and Journey, while the top five boys' names are Kaysen with a K, Kaysen with a C, Braylon, Chandler, and Lawson.
Okay. Yes. She got creative with the beginning part of her name. As for the popular blue state names, according to Nameberry, Francesca, Alexandra, and Miriam all made the list. Convention is overrated. Dream, River, Journey, Apple, Onyx, it's no secret that celebrities love getting creative when it comes to naming their offspring. And since Suzanne noted that celebs can have a huge influence on baby name trends, it's safe to say we're gonna see more and more kids with unconventional names. The verdict? Anything goes in 2017. Name on. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.